we're having to stand up, essentially, a public health infrastructure in many of these areas uh, that haven't, as I've said from the start of this uh, outbreak, I consider this a top national security priority. Uh, this is not just a matter of charity, uh, although obviously the humanitarian toll uh, in the countries that are affected in West Africa are extraordinarily significant. Uh, this is an issue about our safety. Uh, it is also an issue uh, with respect to the political stability and economic stability of this region. And so it is very important for us to make sure that we are treating this uh, the same way that we would treat any other significant uh, national security threat. Personnel are putting in, uh, they're going to be, uh, they need to be joined by, uh, uh, I know that the American people are concerned about uh, the possibility of an uh, Ebola outbreak, and uh, Ebola is a very serious disease. Uh, and uh, the ability of people who are infected to carry that across borders is something uh, that we have to take extremely seriously. Uh, at the same time, it is important for Americans to know the facts, uh, and that is that because of the measures that we've put in place, as well as our world-class health system, uh, and the nature of the Ebola virus itself, which is difficult to transmit, uh, the chances of an Ebola outbreak in the United States uh, is extremely low. To uh, isolate and uh, Procedures are now in place to rapidly evaluate anybody who might be showing symptoms. Uh, we saw that with the response uh, of the airplane in Newark uh, and how several hospitals across the United States uh, have been testing for possible cases. Uh, in recent months, we've had thousands of travelers uh, arriving here from West Africa, and so far only one case of Ebola has been diagnosed in the United States, and that's the patient in Dallas. Uh, our prayers are obviously with him uh, and his family. Follow those protocols strictly, uh, and that's exactly what we are uh, in the process of doing. Uh, we have learned some lessons, though, uh, in terms of what happened in Dallas. We don't have a lot of margin for error. Uh, the procedures and protocols that are put in place must be followed. Uh, one of the things that we discussed today uh, was how we can make sure that we're spreading the word across hospitals, clinics, uh, any place where a patient might first uh, come in contact with a medical worker to make sure that they know what to look out for and they're putting in place the protocols and following those protocols strictly. It does not uh, have uh, you know, the kind of uh, impact. I'll be very honest with you, uh, although we have seen great interest on the part of the international community, we have not seen other countries step up as aggressively as they need to. And I said at the United Nations, and I will repeat, that this is an area where everybody has to chip in and everybody has to move quickly in order for us to get this under control. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Pete. Appreciate it.